Hey y'all, now I'm gonna show you guys how do you uh, actually flare copper tubing. It's actually not that hard. But the first thing is we reamed out this area and we got all the uh, the burrs out uh, with the reamer. And um, that still has a little bit of some of the old uh, grease on there so we're gonna clean that real quick. There we go. The first step always is make sure you put this back on because once you flare it, you cannot put the nut back on. So anyways, this is one fourth and we're going to use something like this. This is this is height. This is a, a flare tool with with this, which right here is where it helps flare the uh, end of the copper tubing. But anyways, we're going to put this on. And then because this is refrigerant, we want this to be out a little bit more than usual. Let's say about right there to do a little bit more right there should do all right we're going to tighten this tighten both ends as tightens you want to get it pretty tight because you don't want this thing to slip so that's tight this is one fourth we'll get this pretty tight let's see if i can get this tighter there you go Get pretty tight. Slightly more than hand tight. So we don't want, we definitely don't want this thing to flip, uh, slip. So now that we got that on, we're gonna put our flare tool on, get this in. They have some nicer ones, but I don't do this much. But anyways, now we're going to, if you can see that, get this in. All right, we got it in. Try to make sure it's square Get in there. Then we're gonna start flaring, right? Slowly, it's gonna push it in. It's gonna start flaring this thing. You can see it starting to come out. And it's gonna make a nice flare for me right there. Oh, that looks nice. Man, don't need to get too, too tight. Right there. That looks like a nice flare. Looks like it's right there, and we got it in. All right. There we go. Now that it's done, let's back this out. We got our flare main. You see that nice flare right there? There we go. Nice flare right there. We need to get this back off loose. There we go. Get this off. There you go. Look at that nice flare that we just did. It's gonna fit in there just like that. Just fits, right? That's good, that's a good flare. That's a nice flare right there. And then it's gonna go on right there. Oh, that looks nice, that looks like a nice connection. Now, what I like to do is, there's also this, uh, I don't know if you can see that, this flare seal that I like to put on. Um, I like to put this on just because I don't make flares every day. So I don't know if I, how well I do my flares, but these are the flare seals. These, you buy them to the right size. This is one fourth, so I have one fourth and five eighths. So I'm gonna take this and this just sits and snaps in right there. And it helps just make a, makes a good seal. Therefore, I don't have to worry about how well I do my flares. But that's gonna make a good seal right there. The other thing I also use is I also use Nylock Blue. This is the type that's compatible with a lot of stuff. You just need a little bit. I didn't put it in below because there was some left over. So um, putting the Nylock Blue on, on top, actually, let me go ahead and take this. You just need a little bit. Let me take this back out. 
these flare seals just, just clip on, but you just need a little bit, not much. You just need to rub it in just so it's just all around the all around the area. And then you can put this on there. And it just snaps in. Yep. There you go. And did it snap in? Oh, hold on. Just wanna snap that in. Snap it in straight. There you go. That snaps in. And then all we need is just a little bit on the outside in, inside of this. Just to make a good, uh, just a little bit on the inside. Don't need much. There we go. Just make sure it's all around. I actually like putting a little bit more on the outside just, just because it's the outside. You don't want, need that much on the inside. And then this flare seat, this flare is just going to go right in with that. All right, let me clean my hands off a little bit. Towel. That's going to go right there and it makes a nice little connection right there. That's just going to sit tight. Get that in. And we're going to make this a... Uh, we're gonna make that seal. There we go. Oh, I did forget to put some. You put some nylon blue on the uh, threads. Real quick. It's still there. That just sits right there. Pretty nice. Let's put some on the threads out here. Now on threads, I really don't care how much I put out because it's not inside the tube. But uh, put that there. All right, that still fits. Get that through. There we go. And after we do this, we're just going to tighten, and that should make a pretty good seal. Um, now you should tighten to manufacturer specifications. I don't have, I don't have a torque or a torque wrench with me, so I'm just going to do this by feel. You don't need you need it pretty snug and pretty tight, um, but again, I don't have a torque wrench because I don't do this every single day. It's tight. There you go. That's about tight. All right, and that's how you guys do it. So um, that's really how you make a flare and how you make your main split connection. All right. Take care.